Hello again everybody, uh, this is Chuck and this is video number three on subnetting. We're finally going to get into doing some subnetting here. Uh, the first two videos, if you haven't seen them, are some things that you need to know before you start subnetting. Uh, the first video uh, is actually memorizing the classes of IP addresses uh, and the subnet mass that go along with those classes. And the second video covered converting from binary to decimal and decimal to binary. Now once you know those two, you're ready to subnet. So let's get into subnetting if you know the number of subnets that you want to create. Okay, so here we go. First off, we're going to go back to writing our numbers across the very top just like we did when we converted to binary. We're going to write the 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128 across the top. We're going to need that. Now let's assume that our IP address we want to use is 192.168.1.0. That's going to be the group. And we want to create two subnets instead of one big network. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves what is the class of that IP address? Okay. Well, in the first video we talked about it. This is class C. 192 is always class C. Now, the second question. What is the default subnet mask for class C? Again, that's in the first video. It's 255-255-255-0. This is just stuff you have to remember. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert that to binary. To get the 255s, again, 255 is the highest number. So all of those numbers across the top, the 128 all the way to 1, are turned on. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 and plus 1 equals 255. So all those are turned on. So that is our 255.255.255.0 converted to binary. That was the second video. Okay. Now we're going to take that last octet. That's the one that we can change. The one that's all zeros. And we're going to move that to the top. Okay. So how many subnets do we want? Well, that's two. That's already given to us. Now this is the question we have to ask ourselves. How many ones do I need to add to the mask? To create subnets, when you know the number of subnets, you actually add ones to the subnet mask. So how many ones do we need? Well, binary is base 2. 0 or 1, on or off, power or no power. So basically what we have to figure out is this. 2 to what power? gives us the number of subnets we need. So you have to know your powers of powers of 2. In this case, it's a very easy one. 2 to the first power is 2. Okay? So perfect. So don't worry about the 2. It's the power that we're going to that we're worried about. So 2 to the first power. So it's that 1. So we need to add 1, 1 to that octet. Okay? So if we add 1,1 one, one to the octet, we end up with 255-255-255-128. You add 1,1 one, one at the beginning of the fourth octet. Right there. That's 128. This is our new subnet mask and binary converting it to decimal it's 255 255 255 128 with that new subnet mask we can now create two subnets in the 192 1.0 range later on in a later video we'll talk about the ranges that we can pull from this okay let's take a look at a couple more Let's deal with four subnets, the same IP address, 192.168.1.0. So the first two questions we already know. What class? It's still a class C. 
was the default subnet mask, it's still 255.255.255.0. So again, we'll write that down at the bottom. And we'll move that last octet up to our range at the top. How many subnets? Well, it tells us four. So how many ones do I need to add to the mask? So again, two to what power is going to make four? Well, two to the first power is two. Two to the second power is four. So we want the power number, not the two, but we want the power that two is taken to. In this case, it's taken to the second power. So we are now going to add two ones to the very top. That's going to be in the 128 and in the 64 group. Add 128 and 64 together, you end up with 192. So there's your two ones right there. That's our subnet mass down here at the bottom. And binary, we just convert it to decimal. That's our new subnet mask to allow for four subnets inside of the 192, 168, 1 group. Let's get to a bigger group, 10 subnets. Again, the same number. So it's still going to be a class C, and the default subnet mask is the same thing. Again, we're just going to write it out and put that up top. We need 10 subnets. We know that. How many ones do we need? Okay, well this one's a little bit different. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 to the second power is 4. 2 to the third power is 8. Still not enough subnets. 2 to the fourth power is 16. That's more subnets than we need, but that's the one that we have to use. 8's not enough, so we have to take it to the fourth power. Yes, we can make 16 subnets, we only need 10, but anything less than that will only give us 8. So again, we're going to take that 4, and we're going to add 4 1's. Again, starting from the left, 128, 64, 32, and 16. Then we're going to add those numbers together. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 equals 240. That's our new subnet mask for 10 subnets. Actually for 16 subnets, but that's plenty of subnets. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to switch classes. Now, this is a, a big mistake that people who take, like the CCNA test, mess up on. They know it, they just grab the wrong subnet. Again, what is the class? Well, it's a class B now. The 172.16.0.10, or 00, zero sorry. What is the default subnet mask for this one? That's uh, 255.255.00. So again, we write that down. Now, what we're moving up here at the top is actually octet number 3. Don't make the mistake of putting up octet number 4. Technically, it is illegal to have a subnet that is 255.255.0.128. You can't do that. You have to start from the left and work your way to the right. I can't skip an octet. So I have to take this octet up. That's the one that we move to the top. Okay, how many subnets? We need 10. How many ones? Again, it's the same that we did before. Two to the first power is two, to the second power is four, to the third power is 8, to the fourth power is 16. So we're still taking it to the fourth power. Our custom subnet mask. It's the same thing, except for the 240s in the third octet, the beginning of the third octet. The last octet still remains 0. That's our new subnet mask for the 172 range with 10 subnets. 255, 255, 240, 0. Again, remember, it can't be, if you accidentally grab the wrong octet, you would end up with 255, 255, 0, 240. You can't use that. You have to work from left to right. 
And we got two more. Let's go 20 subnets with the 192 range. Again, what is the class? The class is C. The default subnet, 255, 255, 2550. Let's go ahead and plot that out and move it to the top. How many subnets? We need 20. Now, to what power do we have to take 2 to end up with 20 subnets? Again, 2 to the first power is 2, 2nd is 4, 3 to the 3rd power is 8, 4th power is 16, still not enough, 5th power is 32. We have to take it to the 5th power to have enough. So we take that to the fifth power, we add five ones, starting on the left hand side with 128, going to 64, 32, 16, and 8, add those numbers together, we end up with 248. And now let's do one with the bigger one, 44 subnets. Now we're in the 172 range. What class is it? It's a class B. What is the default subnet? 255, 255, 00. Plot it out and move that third octet to the top. We know we need 44 subnets, so how many ones? Again, first power, second power, third power, fourth power, fifth power, sixth power. 2 to the 6 will actually give us 64 subnets. But that's more than what we need. That's more than enough. 32 wasn't enough. 64 is enough to cover it. We add six ones, starting from the left-hand side. And we end up with 252. Because once we add 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, and 4, all of these ones we're going to end up with 255, 255, 252, 0. That's our new subnet mask for the 172 range with 44 subnets. Okay. So now that we've ran through one with a given number of subnets, <clears throat> next video we're going to take a look at what if we just know the certain number of hosts that we want per subnet. Okay, guys, if you if you're enjoying these videos, please uh, let me know. You know, add some comments in there. You can like the channel. Uh, if if you drop some some comments in, if there's a particular thing that you're looking for, uh, definitely let me know. I'll be glad to to come up with um, uh, a video on it and uh, help you out on on whatever it is that you're looking for. So just drop me some comments and and uh, let me know what you're looking for, and I'll be glad to post something for you. Alright, thanks a lot.